Four Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial, and today we are painting Boss Nickrot. Yes, here he is, the brand new version of this character as part of the Boarding Patrol Orcs that Games Workshop very kindly sent to me early to build up and paint for all of you, and that is exactly what we're going to be doing today, and I'm very excited because he's very cool. It's a very cool new model. So, what we're going to do is jump in and start painting him. He's been primed in grey seer. And the colour we're going to be using first is Gut Ripper Flesh. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of Snickrot's skin. Just want to try and avoid his bottom lip. Just like this. So with that done, whilst there are a number of different black details on the model, we are actually gonna to have to do a couple of different recipes so he doesn't all look the same color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna firstly take some black legion and we're gonna apply this over two areas. So we're gonna apply this over his, his left, our right trouser leg. Like this. And we're going to apply this over the top of this kind of flap on the bag as well. And so that Black Legion applied, I did also apply it to the holster of the uh, pistol just down there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some Ultramarines Blue. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of our remaining areas that are going to be black. This is going to include all of the straps. His other trouser leg. And with all of that Ultramarines blue applied, we then take Leviathan blue and we're going to apply this over the top of the leather of his boots. So with those blues applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some black Templar and we're going to apply this over the top over all of the strapping and the boots, but we're not going to apply this over the top of the left leg, his right leg, and the backpack. We're just going to leave that just for the moment. But what we are going to do on the backpack is we are going to apply this over the top of things like the little pouches. And 
and stuff like that. So with that Black Templar all applied, as you can see, we've now got two distinctly, well, we've got three distinctly different blacks on here. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna work on the last one. And this is because it's got this camo, this sort of urban camo style that's going on there. And well, this is gonna require a bit of freehand, but it's not too difficult here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take some thinned down Corvus Black. And we're gonna use this on the backpack and the leg. And we're gonna apply it in kind of these uneven blobs all the way around the model. And this is gonna be our kind of majority color here. But we do want to leave some of the blue underneath. Or in between, I should say. like this. Same thing on the leg. So with that Corvus Black all applied, we're then gonna take some Thunderhawk Blue. And we're gonna do much the same thing, and we're gonna do a lot less of it. I'm gonna use this to add little camo marks in the black as well as on the blue. And so with that Thunderhawk blue applied to the leg and to the backpack, we're then gonna take some gray sear. And we're gonna do very few of these, but we're gonna do exactly the same thing again. So really small ones now.
Do forgive me, but there is one more color we're gonna add and that is rust gray. And we're gonna just do very small, tiny little ones. So with that camo now all applied, just to tie it all together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Nuln oil and we're gonna apply this over the top. Just like this. So with that done, it's still drying at the moment, but that's okay because we're gonna move on. So the color we're gonna be using next is Saigor Brown. And we're gonna be applying this to our few remaining leather details. So we got the scabbard. Back here. Like that. Got these three segments. So, and we've got the cords around his neck. So with that now done, the hard part is, well, over. And I think it looks absolutely fantastic. So what we're gonna do is move on to the next color and that is going to be the red. Now we only have a couple of red details and these are the grenades. So we have one here on his chest. Like this. Have I said what paint I'm using? This is Flesh Terror's Red. <laughs> Go. Uh, we have a grenade just here. like that and we have one just under here as well and there is one on the top but we're not going to do that one that one's going to be a different color so with that now done we're going to take some skeleton horde and we're going to apply this over the top of the skulls Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of this 
tooth. With that now done, we're going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of the inside of his mouth and his bottom lip. Like this. Don't worry if you get this all over the teeth, that's okay. So we're going to apply it there. And we're going to apply a little bit of this over the top of his knuckles. Like this. And then what we do is we wash the brush. And we use that to blend the colour into the green. So it's nice and subtle. So we'll just do it again here. And with that now done, we're going to take a tiny amount of Volupus pink and we're going to apply this over the top of his tongue, hiding in there. And we're going to add a little bit of a kind of little line going around the inside of his bottom lip. And if you could, if you've built him with, without his goggles, you'd want to do this around the top teeth as well. And with that now done, we're going to take some Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the wrap on this stick grenade just here. And we're going to apply this over the top of the rope underneath his backpack just down here. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Iron Warriors and we're going to apply this over the top of all of our remaining details, at least all of the meta metallic ones. And whilst it's not all going to stay the same colour, it's just good for us to be able to visualise it where all the metallics go. So we're going to be picking out things like the blades, his pistol on his hip, his headgear, the various belt buckles and straps. Anything we're not going to apply this over at this point is the Orc logos on the back up there. So with that Iron Warriors applied to all of the metallic detail all the way around, as you can see, what we're going to do now is we're going to break it up a bit. I'm going to do this by adding some thinned down Rune Lord Brass. Now we're going to apply this on areas such as the little, the belt buckle. Like that. We're going to apply this over the top of this kind of armoured strap across the top of each of the boots. And we're just going to avoid the spiked studs where possible. But one of the good things about painting orcs, you don't really have to worry too much about neatness. There's a little bit of mistake or the layer isn't a hundred percent fully kind of brassy that's okay so similarly we're going to apply this over top of the cross guard here on the 
used blade. Like so. We're going to apply this over the top of the bottom half of these bullets or grenades or whatever they are. Like that. And we're going to apply this over the top of the kind of domey sections on the end of each of the knives, like that. And we're also going to apply this over the top of this button, that button, and that one as well, and that on the headgear. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on on our snickrot. So what we're going to do now is going to add some shades. And the first one is going to be some pox walker. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of his skin. Now we are just going to try and avoid the areas where we've added the glimmer flesh and things like that. But otherwise, we just want to get this all over. And so with that pox walker all applied, we're then going to take Agrax Earthshade and we're going to apply this over the top of the Rune Lord Brass and the Silver. And so with that done, we're then going to take some Null Oil. I'm going to apply this over the top of the icon on the back up here and over the top of the Black Legion areas. Like that. And we're also going to apply this over the top of the bluish straps. Just take the edge off them just a little bit. And with that null oil applied, we then want to take a small amount of black Templar and we'll apply this over the top of the flat parts of the blades. So with those shades applied, Snickrot is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. And he's already looking pretty cool. But what we're going to do is we're going to take him to the next level. We're going to do this by adding some shades and some highlights. Now, the shade that we're going to be adding is Tyran Blue. And that's because he has this kind of slightly bluish tint to his skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that Tyran Blue on our brush. It's a very small amount of it here. And we're going to apply this over the top of all of his muscles. Just like this. We just want to kind of do it over the top of the body. So 
So with that Tyran blue applied, what we're then going to do is take some War Boss Green. And we are going to apply this over the flats of his muscles. It's still drying in some of those recesses, but that's all right. So we're just going to apply this. Like that. Just avoiding. Anywhere the shade is really settled. And so with that done, we're then going to take a roughly one-to-one -one mix of War Boss Green and Nurgling Green. I'm going to use this to highlight all of his skin. And with that done, we're then going to take some thinned down Krieg Khaki. I'm going to use this for the sharpest points on all of his skin. So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some flayed one flesh and we're going to use this to highlight his bottom lip. Like that. And we're also going to use this to highlight the knuckles. So with that flayed one flesh applied, we want to take a really tiny amount of caribou crimson. We want to add this over the top. bottom lip and the knuckles. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some pallid witch flesh and we're going to use this to highlight the teeth. So with that now done, it's time to move on to our next colour. And that's going to be one of the many black recipes. So the first one we're going to highlight up is the one that we originally did with Black Legion. The colour we're going to be using to highlight it is some thinned down Dawnstone. So this is going to be areas like that top flap on the backpack and his left trouser leg. as well as a little holster for a shooter. So with that Dawnstone applied to all those Black Legion areas, what we then do is take some Administratum Grey and we apply these the sharpest corners. Just 
just like that, really fine little tiny dots. So with that done, all of those kind of greyish black details are finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the next black recipe. And we're actually going to move on to both of them. This is the Leviathan Blue and the Ultramarines Blue. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down rust grey. I'm going to use this to highlight. Now we don't need to do this on our camo areas. But everywhere else, we're absolutely going to. And so with that all done, we're then going to take some thin down Fenrisian Grey and we're going to use this as our spot highlight for all of our blue black. So with that done, all of our black details are now finished. So what we're going to do is move on to the silver. And well, the color we're going to be using is once again, Iron Warriors. And what we're looking to do here is looking to brighten up some of these areas once again. So on the knives, for example, we're going to add some Iron Warriors. Like this, just leaving some of that Agrax Earth shade shaded silver in the recess. Like that. For example, similarly on the toes. So with that Iron Warriors reapplied, we're then going to take some thin down Iron Hand Steel and we're going to use this to highlight all of the silver. So with that iron hand steel all applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Sycorax bronze and we're going to use this to highlight all of the Rune Lord brassy areas. And so with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some frost heart and we're going to work on the lasers and the lenses. So we're going to apply this over top of this one up here. Like that. We're going to apply this over the top of this large one. Just here like that. And we're going to apply this over this little one just here like that. And in addition, what we're going to do is they've done it. We're going to add some highlights with the frost heart.
around each. of the gems. And next up we're going to take some striking scorpion green. I'm going to apply this over top of this lens just there. And this lens. And so with that striking scorpion green applied, we're then going to take some flesh terrors red. I'm going to apply this over top of this lens just here. And that lens just there like that. And the other thing we're going to do with the flesh terrors red at this point is a slightly bigger brush. I'm going to apply this over the top of the grenade. We forgot to do it earlier. So with that flesh terror red applied, we're then going to take some Lothurn blue. I'm going to add a blob of it right in the middle of each of the lenses that we did with blue. And we're going to go over our highlights. And with that done, we're going to do the same thing with Moot Green. And this time we're going to do it on our green. And then similarly, once again, we're going to take some Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to do this over the top of the red ones. And so finally, just to finish off all of those lenses, we're going to take a tiny little bit of Corax white. I'm going to add a little dot inside all of our lenses. As well as on the sharp corners of any reflections. So with that done, the hardest part is now over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some Karak stone. I'm going to use this to highlight the collection of strings and things around his neck. And so with that done, what we're then going to do is we're going to work on the smoke and we're going to use two colours for this, Soul Blight Grey and Nasdreg Yellow. And you'll see what I mean. So we're going to take Soul Blight Grey and we're going to apply this over the top of all of the smoke. this we will do the other side as well of course but then what we're going to do is we're going to wash the brush and we're going to take a tiny amount of nasdrag yellow and we're going to apply this 
down here, just so it looks like we've got a little bit of a spark going on. And so with that done, snick rot is now finished. However, there is one last thing you can do, and this is entirely optional if you want to, and that is to add some little triangles on the top. So what we need is we need four little triangles. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here on either side of the little rip that's just there in the middle. And the color we're using is Dawnstone. next to it. Then we're going to do another one. Just there like that. And then we're going to do our last one. And so with those triangles now painted on top of Snickrot's backpack, he is now finished, this sneaky little boy. And I think he looks absolutely fantastic. I really like that camo recipe and this is how I would paint those Cadians. Is it 101st? I think that's how I, I think that's which ones they are. I can't remember. Um, but I really really enjoyed painting this and I really like that kind of cool bluish green skin that Snickrot has and I think achieving that was really simple. It was just really really fun to paint quite a simple miniature which is really really cool. Love it. Thank you very much Games Workshop. It's awesome. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you, you can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these amazing, wonderful people have done. And if you really like this video or you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.